So here we are in Storyline now, and at the moment we are in Story View. So you'll see it's uh, um, the kind of the first tab on the left hand side is Story View here, which has got a deep blue around it to show that we're in that mode. And then when we click on the slide, we are in Slide View here, where you can see like the scene that we're in. So we can add scenes into Storyline, and we can add slides into Storyline. Have you used PowerPoint? I would guess that you have used PowerPoint because just about everyone has used PowerPoint, but even if you haven't, don't worry. But if you have used PowerPoint, this is gonna look really familiar to you because Storyline really is a more advanced version of PowerPoint. It's a version of PowerPoint which makes you look like you can develop even cooler stuff than what you can do in PowerPoint. Um, but anyway, this looks a bit like PowerPoint. So you've got like kind of, you know, similar to Windows software where you've got tabs along the top uh, which is kind of the uh, ribbon, so like kind of different settings menu. The the way that we build the content onto slides, and then the things that we won't have in PowerPoint that we do have in Storyline is a very cool timeline to help us see as things are appearing on the page, if we've got a complex page with lots of different stuff turning up, and we've got a triggers menu along the right hand side as well so we're going to be going through triggers when we start to build content and triggers is how we get stuff to happen in storyline so so you'll see that on that storyboard it's like they've got a begin button uh, and that begin button is obviously going to take them to the next slide and it's using triggers where we can add something onto a page and say can you do this for me please because uh, we're very um courteous uh, over here you know Thank you, Storyline, for helping us do this, is, um, is it. Uh, and then we've got a scene slide on the left-hand side, which is similar to PowerPoint as well. So Story View, as we build our projects, uh, you know, if we've got multiple scenes, um, if we've got lots of slides, we can just quickly see them all on this slide, um, on this view, sorry. Um, and, uh, and we can double-click on any, which will take it to that one. So at the moment, we've only got one slide on here because we haven't built anything in this project. So what we're gonna do now is we're just going to set up this project ready for, for our work to start putting stuff in there. Um, so in this case, first thing we're gonna do is save as. So we've now got our file that we're working from, um, which is the, the first version so we can see our screen size is going to be 1280 by 800, so that's pixels. So that's our screen size. So to determine our screen size on Storyline, we're going to go to Design and Slide Size. So we'll set this. It's very important to have our screen size determined at the start of a project. So if you're working on a project and it isn't clear what the screen size is, we've got to find that out early on because as we change that screen size, stuff that we've already put on the page is going to change around as well, and it can become difficult to manage. So we do want to get that screen size set as a starting point. So we're going to, first things first, we're going to change it to that. So I'm going to untick lock aspect ratio because it might not be the same as this here. And I'm just going to put it in blank. Scale existing content to fit, so we can leave that ticked because we've got no content in there, so we don't need to worry about it at the moment. So if I click OK, my screen size has now been set to that. So I know that every that these slides are now built in a way where it's 1280 by 800 pixels. So that's our first job done for setting up this project. So we're back on Home tab, so we've moved from Design to Home and we've got a player button here. So if I click on player, you can see that every storyline file comes with a player where it has a menu bar, um, it's got a hamburger menu, it's got a resources button to go to resources, and it's got player controls. Uh, but what we're gonna do today is, is just get you used to um, none of that being on because there's some clients that don't use any of it. So you'll see from my guides here, um, 
they've got their own menu bar that they like to use they've got their own back button and they've got their own way of moving a learner forwards with a continue button as well so you know it could be likely that a first project that you work on is is with someone like these where they don't use any of those player settings so let's get familiar with how we would remove those player settings so we've got a back button got a continue button got a hamburger button we're not going to use those storyline player controls so if we go to player we can just get our player set up as we want to so we don't want any of that we don't want the title on either we're not going to use any of the storyline player controls so you'll see that the back and next button have remained on we don't like this um, kind of dark look around the edge and if they um, want it dark then we'd just hear back and we just quickly flick it back to dark or you can make custom as well so you might have your own color palette that you want around the edge of that and that's our player setup so we're all done there so i've just unticked all of these because we just as you can see now we've just got a blank slide so we can very much create the way that ours is going to look like on this slide here um we've removed all of the buttons there and we've just changed it to a light look. So you'll see down here, we've got slide properties on the bottom right hand side. So we can just untick these as well, which means that none of those player buttons um, will appear on there as well. So let's just see if those disappear on the, um, yep, so they've now disappeared on the slide example here as well, which is great. So that is our first video. Uh, where we've set up the storyline player and um, we've got a bit of an idea of like the different tabs um, in storyline and um, we've set up our slide side get your file set up in this way before you move on to the next video so thank you ever so much for watching